Hi everyone, and welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, this is a part two of our maps tutorial. So in this video, we're gonna learn how to add pins and annotations, and also the user's location. So let's get started. I'm gonna open up Xcode. And so we're gonna create a new Xcode project. Or, no, maps tutorial. So basically, I've added some stuff here which will help us with the manager. Let's, so first of all, the first thing we're gonna do is go to info.plist and add these. So to do this, you'd press plus and do privacy. And we're gonna go to location always usage is one of them. And then here just put like a description like when, the, when it pops up, for example, I put maps needs to location to function and we also need location when in use so once we got that in we are going to go we didn't have to add anything in main.storyboard because main.storyboard has everything in there already and looks like it's it got a little glitch to up there so if we go to view controller we see that we also imported core location so, and then here we added the delegates, which are these, and then the map and the, and the manager, the location manager. So that, that's the thing that's tracking our location. So if we go here, it's defining this, then setting the delegate, setting the accuracy, which is the best, and then we're gonna request the when in use. So that means we're going to request a user's location when you open the app. And then we're going to go to, and then we start updating location. And then we don't have any difference here because this part is okay. And so basically it, keep, it has a user location. And it's a CL location that's part of the locations, as you see, array. And then latitude and longitude of the user location, then the delta, and the span, which is the coordinate span. And then we have the location, then we have the region, which we set the region. So that means when we open up the app, it's going to zoom into your current location. And then we set the region of the, to the map. And then here we're creating the pins that detect your movement line if you're moving. So... It's gonna it's gonna create a new pin every time the location updates. So pin dot coordinate dot latitude equals the user location. Then the, the longitude is the user's location too. The pin's title is your movement line. So that means every time you click a pin, it's gonna say your movement line. And then we're gonna add it to the map. So that might seem like a lot. Let's try it out. So it's opening. And we see you can actually set the location. Right now I set it to a freeway drive, so that means it has a map. See? Your movement line. And then let's say I set it to Apple. Then it's going to update the location you see it's Apple and then if we change it to let's say a uh, custom location press OK that is Manhattan that's Times Square so basically this app what it can do is it basically shows the location of you and it creates a pin to mark where you, how you moved. And then, and so basically this is a very useful thing because then you can use your user location. And I, in fact, if we take away this part by coming to, commenting it away, then it will not have the pins. It's just gonna have the location.
See, now we're in Manhattan with our location. Dirt Bug, location, freeway drive. And it sent us on the freeway drive, as we saw. You can see this on satellite. We can see that we're going onto the freeway. Moving, moving. So basically this is kind of like how Pokemon Go works. If you, if you ever know how Pokemon Go, the map follows along with you. And we're not really trying to make a Pokemon Go here. We're just trying to learn about maps. So this thing can track your own, you can track your own location. And this will work on any old phone. So anyway, guys, thank you guys for watching this video. This is the part two of the map series. Part three will be out soon. So stay updated. Bye.